This is how I'm arranging to attach the secondary mirror, an elliptical 3.1 inch across that axis uh, mirror. As you can see, it's attached to a 45 degree sloping support uh, by a method which I don't think I've seen anywhere else. I have here a steel, magnetic steel ellipse as well, the same shape and size as the secondary. So if you look at it from the edge on, all you should see if I get this lined up right is the surface of the mirror there. If you try not to touch that. Um, and it is attached by support method, which I have seen uh, used before, which is silicon. Um, the stuff you use for attaching things to aquariums. So there's one blob at this end there, about the size of a 10p piece. Uh, and there are two blobs at that end. So it's supported on three. Um, so any movement should be sort of balanced out. Now, I was always worried that the silicon might come loose. And if that did happen, it would be a total disaster. The, the secondary would crash down on the primary and bust both of them, and that would be thousands of pounds down the drain. Um, so I've got two safety mechanisms here. The one is string. You can see I have, there's one continuous length of string which is araldited, glued to the back of the metal plate. It goes through a little hole in the metal plate and then is araldited to the back of the mirror. And it passes back and then there's another bit of araldite that's the same piece of string it's the string used to uh, switch a light on and off a pull string so it's pretty strong it's never you know they don't bust off of thousands of pulls um, so therefore you've got you've got three supports for the silicon two supports for the araldite uh, and the string goes through and is secured at the back there the string is not tight it's quite loose because you don't want to stress, although this is a two centimetre thick mirror, you do not want to stress the mirror in any way because the tiniest bit of uneven force is on it and it will bend. Now my hand's getting a little bit tired here, so I don't want to drop anything, so put that back there. Ah, there we go. Now, this support has got three little holes drilled into the surface and I have put ne neodymium magnets. So here's a whole pile of them. Um, they're about 15 mil across, three mil thick. So there's three of those recessed into the support, sort of one, two, three. glued in with araldite and very snug fit uh, and I invented this jig here so that I could put the support in, put another piece of wood over the top, stick them in a vise to make sure that the magnets were pushed in absolutely flush there. Then there is a, a second security mechanism in that we have a little screw device. So I shall just undo this a little bit here. This screwdriver was purchased specially to fit the job. So there you can see there's a, there's a screw thread, a little cylinder there with a slot in it so that I can do things. It's threaded and if we hunt around and look through just right there you should see, I'll get it against the white background, uh, where's the white background, there, you should see a metal washer and a bolt head, um, which I, I drew, I ground that down so that it was 
not going to touch the glass and that passes through and is attached to the other end of that so if I tighten to do this with, with, there we go if I tighten that up it will pull the bolt downwards uh, and then pull the steel plate tightly against this is nylon this is nylon support Let's get this right around there we go uh, now the reason for doing this, I hear you ask, why are you doing this? When you put the secondary into the telescope, to be ideally positioned, it is offset in this direction. So that's the center axis for the tube, thus, um, and that axis is not balanced equally in the tube. The whole secondary is pushed over in that direction for reasons which we might explain later. Adjusting that when it's in the telescope tube is really quite difficult. Many systems, if you don't glue the mirror to the metal plate and calculate exactly where you want the offset to be, once you screw it in and tighten up the nuts and bolts and screws, that's it, you can't move it. But this, the reason of inventing this system is that I can rotate this in any direction thus, if needs be. And obviously you try and line it up nice and straight, but you might not get it quite right. And gluing things is quite tricky because you position something, glue it, and there's no guarantee it's not going to be a few degrees off. With this you can, the magnets are holding it, and you can then move this around in position as much as you like, but also up it can go, we'll do that from the side, there we go, up it can go, and down. So we'll put this in position, the magnets keep it nice and snug, all the safety mechanisms will stop anything dropping off. Um, and then we can adjust it, position it. Uh, I use a bit of paper on here with the sweet spot where the center should be, laser collimator, uh, and then you, it's, it's quite a simple task of lining everything up, getting the offset absolutely right. And then of course you look through the focuser tube or the focuser uh, and make sure that this which will now look and see if that can be arranged if I hold this in the right position um, although it's in ellipse in that orientation that should look exactly like a circle and that circle must be concentric with the telescope tube and everything that you see so quite nerve-wracking but you mustn't ever try you must try hard not to ever touch the surface of the of the mirror it's a very delicate surface so what i should do now this won't fit into this won't fit into the jig quite neatly because there's a that is protruding so i shall just to make absolutely sure that there is no problem I will tighten that up that noise was the roll of magnets the need of magnets falling onto the floor there we are won't stress that won't tighten it up. and then that would tighten it up so that's that still only just snug, I could easily tighten that another quarter turn. Uh, I think that will stay. The magnets may not have held it absolutely. If the telescope were to swing around and hit the pier or you bump it, if it was just magnets holding that, it might jar and move. But I think with three magnets, which are really powerful, 
plus that bolt pulling everything down it should be hunky dory so there it is in its little 45 degree cradle which I use just to assemble things um, and that should do the trick we wait and see <laughs>